What's up, fam? I am getting ready to do my five minutes um, makeover, my phone booth makeover. Back before I got sick, I used to be able to get dressed in about 15 minutes. I'm talking about shower, put on clothes, makeup, take it from zero to 10. I can't do that no more, but I can get my makeup on in about five minutes. So the only thing I've done is um, put some witch hazel on a cotton ball and did my face. Um, and that's it. So all the products I'm using came from Target with the exception of the um, Smashbox primer, which I got before I was sick. So it has lasted me for four years because that's not in my budget anymore. So I am looking for some drugstore primers that will work just as well as the um, Smashbox Photo Finish Primer because it's about gone. And if you have some, let me know. Now, y'all know I can't see worth a penny. So, I have to use my mirror that is really close to me because I cannot see the one that is um, in the bathroom. So, I use my little mirror on the stand that I got from the garage sale. So, I smooth on my primer and then I use the... Um, LA Girl Pro Concealer. Now, I use um, chestnut in the summertime because I like to get a lot of sun. Um, so, I don't use it to highlight, but because I don't really highlight when I do my five minute makeup, um, I just try to get the spots and the dots uh, covered. That's what my girl little cute nurse calls it, her spots and her dots. So I try to get my spots and dots covered um, for my five minute makeover, but that's about it. Now don't y'all time me because you know my sense of time is um, not the best at all. And that, has nothing at all to do with being a pain warrior or a devil. That's just being scatterbrained. So I start out with one thing and end up doing something altogether different. So I smooth my little concealer over my eyes too. Um, and my eyelids are oily. They've always been oily. I don't know what that's about, um, so I have to make sure that I put some type of primer um, on my eyelids, otherwise they get so oily until they make my eyes burn. So now, now again, it's my five minute makeup, so I'm not trying to um, have my eyebrows on fleek like the kids say. I'm just trying to make sure they not spotty. Um, and I probably need to go get them waxed. So I will put that on my to-do list that is so very long that who knows when that will get done. All right, so this is, you see it says clearance. Came from Dollar General at the um, clearance bin. 90% off. So I think I paid 32 cents for it. But it's the CoverGirl Queen Collection and Natural Hue. I don't even know if they make it anymore. Maybe that's why I was in there. But I don't see a um, color on it. So I just use a little bitty dot. Because um, I'm not going for full coverage i'm just going for i didn't just get out of the bed and come in i actually put a little bit of thought into it but i didn't have time for a full face so that's the look i'm going for i usually do one side of my face and then the other i don't know why um, i'm sure the makeup pros probably do it differently but i am not a pro at all. Truth is, 
I didn't even really wear makeup until um, I started, so after I stopped working um, and I was at home and what had happened was, you know, that's how all good stories start. What had happened was I um, had been out of work and wasn't going out much and people were, how are you? And this, that, and the third. And so I kind of started to feel um, out of the loop. And you know how you feel when you just can't get out the house. And it was right after my second back surgery. Yeah. So I wasn't um, very mobile. And so I said, I started taking selfies. Um, actually in the bed. You know, just working on my smile and bored or whatever, you know. And so, when I started doing the selfies, I said, hmm. Now, if I would put on a little makeup, I might could look a little bit better, you know. Uh, so, I went to YouTube. <laughs> um, and you know, they make it look so easy. Um... I'm sorry, y'all. I used the Fit Me Poreless, Matte Poreless Powder in 330 uh, to kind of bring it all together. And this is the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set with Aloe, Green Tea, and Cucumber. And that's what I used to try to set all my makeup. But anyway, I went on YouTube and... Of course, they make it look so easy. This is just a um, palette that has everything in it that I got from Target. And I almost always use this when I want to do my makeup real quick. Um, because it's got the eyeshadow and the highlights uh, and the blush and everything right there together. So, I'm not digging and trying to find, you know, makeup. So I'm just gonna put a little color on my lids cause I have hooded lids. And if I don't put a little color on there, it kind of gets lost. And I feel, I could be wrong. I feel like when I don't put any color on, it makes it look even more hooded. And so my eyelids look extra juicy and fat. And anything I can do to keep them from looking extra fat, I'm gonna do that. So, I just try to create me a little crease there because I don't have one. My lid is too fat. Oh, that's a mess, child. Look at that. Okay, hopefully when I blend it out, it'll blend out a little better. And if not, I put this little foundation brush over the top of it and keep it pushing, you know? Okay, so let's try to Blend it out a little bit and see. Okay, it ain't quite so bad. Oh, that was a mess when we started out, wasn't it? All right, so what I'll do is get a um a more nude color. So, I didn't tell y'all. I started out with the antique, which is here, kind of a gold color. And then I went in with those two dark shades. I probably should have gone with this one, but I blended them. They didn't work so well. So, I'm going to come back out with like a tan. I read somewhere, I can't even remember where, that people with hooded lids shouldn't use a metallic on the hood because it makes the hood um, more noticeable. So, that is why I put my metallic on the, you know, the actual, this part, the eyelid part, not up at the top. Now, sometimes when I'm trying to follow somebody on YouTube or something, I will still do it. But today, I'm not going to do that. Um, my eyeliner, I always use a waterproof eyeliner because I sweat so bad. Uh, it could be age. It could be, I read somewhere. I guess y'all say I always read but anyway, I read somewhere that people with fibromyalgia um, have a hard time controlling their temperature. 
So, don't y'all talk about my little country Mr. Clean fan. In my mind, it's a fabulous fan. Um, I need to get me one from the beauty supply store. You know, one of those cute little fans. Anywho, um, but I got my um, oscillating fan going in this bathroom. And I got the air turned down because... I sweat so bad that um, I have to use waterproof everything because I sweat so bad. So I use waterproof mascara and that was, it's faded. That's wet and wild. Um, again, I use the most affordable cosmetics that I can because since I'm not working, I don't have a high budget for high budget makeup um and wet and wild now i don't use wet and wild foundation but i use their lipsticks and their um eyeshadows and liners and all those things um and they've never done me bad now the, the lipsticks dupe a lot of the matte colors um because i do have some mattes they don't last as long, but the color is the same. And this is the Ramel Scandalize. I do not have on lashes because that's not a part of my five minute procedure. And I'm sure that I am probably over five minutes at this point, but if I wasn't talking, I probably could have it done. But you know, that's the story of my life if I wasn't talking. I remember one time my mama left me at church because I was talking. And that was back during the time they used to have um, morning service and evening service, you know. So after church, I guess I was about 10 or 11, I was talking and chewing the fat, you know, as they say. And my mama said, come on. And um, I said, yes, ma'am, you know. And I kept her right on talking. <clears throat> and she said, if you don't come on, I'm going to leave you. I said, yes, ma'am. And kept right on talking. Honey, I looked up. My mama was gone. Do y'all hear me? Gone. So, I guess it was about 1 or 2 o'clock. I had to fancy myself something to do to keep myself occupied at that church. Um, until she came back for the six o'clock service. Well, I tell you what, she ain't had to tell me to come on no more. And to this day, when she said, come on, I comes on. You understand? That's a little too much highlighting for me. So I had to go back in with my, uh, poor mom fit me. All right, now, my last step. LA Color Lip Gloss. You know, this probably came from the Beauty Supply Place. So some of y'all see it's been through the ringer. But, it's gonna give me what I want. Which is nice little glow. Now, another part of being, um, you know, learning to adapt is that I always have to have my clothes and my um, jewelry and underwear and everything laid out. Everything. Because I don't have the ability to, you know, put it all together at the last minute. So, I try to keep me something laid out. So you'll see I have my clothes over there ready to go. And that is it. I'm going to get back with you. Give me a good second. I'll get dressed and show y'all the finished look. So I'm about to step out. Um, and this is our finished product. I hope you enjoyed it. And I look forward to seeing you on the next time. Remember to like subscribe and share and hit the bell so you get notifications of the next time I upload a video. It'll be soon. 
Thank you. Love y'all.